the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Mom, are you okay? Look, I get it. The days of the week sort of blur for me too, but you're asking me the time of day like I'm a time lord that gets to decide what day of the week it is. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Don't you just turn the poke gear on and select the phone icon? Well, I just told you that I know how to use it, so thank you for telling me how to use it anyway. There's a movie on TV. Stars dot the sky as two boys ride on a train. Well, if by boys you mean cats, then you're referencing the 1985 film Night on the Galactic Railroad, which is more in line with the Pokemon universe, but probably just as weird as Stand By Me in the last game. Go and meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to go to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Wait, you're a Pokemon professor and a radio host? I guess studying the same 151 Pokemon gets old quick, huh? I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Okay, so I know I gave Gen 1 some flack for having an old man not remember his own grandson's name, but how are you going to present my Gen 2 rival to me by announcing him as Pokemon Trainer question mark question mark question mark, him explicitly telling me that his name is question mark question mark question mark, and not expect people to answer with question mark question mark question mark when asked what his name was? Wow, Chris. You may have what it takes to become the champion. Uh, Elm, I'm a ten-year-old with a fire hedgehog who just went to go pick up an egg, was given an empty electronic encyclopedia by a man who can't remember his own grandson's name, and delivered the egg to you. I assure you, I am no champion. What is it with people in these tutorials just catching the Pokemon on the first try without weakening it first? Also, you can't find level 5 Rattata on Route 29! This is the sea, as you can see. Yep, sure can. The rules are simple. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokémon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokémon are not tools of war. Huh. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. Well, of course he's weak. He's old, dude. Hence Elder! Take this Flash HM. Flash still sucks and should still not be an HM. Wait up! What's the hurry? Have you gone to the Pokemon Gym? You can test your Pokemon and yourself there. It's a rite of passage for all trainers. Okay, but how do you know I haven't beaten the Violet City Gym? What, do I have my badges on full display? What if I'm not a trainer? Who the hell are you? People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. Electric-type moves are super effective against flying-type Pokemon. That's not an insult, that's just... nature. Chris, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. You discovered that? That's not a discovery, that's just how eggs work. And yeah, I get it, prior to this game they didn't really know how breeding worked, but they knew what an egg was. Ah yes, the unknown, truly the pinnacle of Pokemon design. What if we took the English alphabet and gave each letter an I? How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious slow poke tail? For you right now, just a million poke dollars. You'll want this. I thought kids these days were loaded. Ten-year-olds can command elemental monsters. They can't afford a bike, Kyle. See, this is something I didn't have a lot of experience with in Pokemon because as a kid, I didn't have anyone to trade with me. Remember in Gen 1 when I would get certain badges and the gym leaders would tell me that all Pokemon up to a certain level would obey me because I had said badge? Well, the reason they would bring that up is because of the obedience mechanic in the Pokemon games. If you raise your Pokemon past a certain level without the necessary badge, they wouldn't always listen to your commands, which makes sense. They didn't want players to trade in a high-level Pokemon and breeze through the game. But then there's another mechanic which makes traded Pokemon problematic anyway. When a Pokemon you receive from a trade gains experience, it'll always gain a boosted experience compared to any Pokemon you caught yourself, which can be phenomenal when trying to get a Pokemon to catch up level-wise or complete the Pokedex, but it also makes them disobey much more quickly if you're going for a normal run. 
For example, I only have the Zephyr badge right now, which doesn't have a level effect because, well, it's the first goddamn gym. Ty, my Cyndaquil, is level 12 and obeys me perfectly, but Feral Boy, my Totodile, and Meggy, my Chikorita, which I traded from Gold and Silver respectively, are both level 13 and already disobey me, even though I have no control over how fast they grow. Hey there, Chris. The guard up top took off when I shouted at him. But then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Rats. If I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Well, you don't have to do anything. Just let your Pokemon out and let them go wild. And if they have to obey you, just shout your commands. What, do you have to be standing right next to your Pokemon for them to listen to you? Quit taking slow poke tails. If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. What rep? You guys disbanded three years ago. You don't have a rep. Not to mention, wasn't your reputation already ruined by getting taken down by another 10-year-old? I make balls from apricorns. Collect them from trees and bring them to me. Huh. If you can make Pokeballs out of apricorns, how do Pokeballs work at all? I figured it was more advanced technology, but I guess not. How can you turn a fruit into a capsule that can store beasts multiple times its own size? Oh, Toro sh** Silver's ghastly. There's no way you just hit me with hypnosis three times. 60% accuracy my ass. Oh, also, this Ghastly can never hit Skyot because Hoot Hoot is a half-normal type with Foresight, meaning I can actually hurt it with physical moves. Oops. Also, this guy's a cheater. How do you have a level 16 Croconaw? Totodile doesn't evolve until level 18, and I should know because I have one! <sighs> I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Uh, because you're not advertising it? The only sign anywhere around here that indicates that this is a bike shop is right in front of the shop! You're surrounded by buildings, and this just looks like any other house. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Well, goddamn. Why are you with him, then? Wah! You're mean! You shouldn't be so serious! You... you child, you! Wah! Wah! <laughs> you meanie! You meanie? You're a fucking gym leader! You're supposed to test trainers on their skill, not win every time! It's not like this was personal, now give me my badge, you psychopath! Well, I don't know about that. It looks like half of it is still in its egg. Seriously, what is it with Pokemon and letting children into casinos where they can gamble? They barely make any money battling Pokemon as it is. What? That Pokemon? The egg hatched. So Pokemon are born from eggs. No, perhaps not all Pokemon are. How do you guys not know where Pokemon come from? Aren't you guys the Pokemon equivalent of biologists? Wouldn't where do Pokemon come from be the first thing you guys research? Also, for the longest time since breeding was introduced in this generation, Pokemon would hatch at level 5, but we've run into a bunch of Pokemon that are under that level. How are they born at a higher level? Do they lose experience in the wild? Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Chris, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. Uh, okay, excuse me. Are you telling me that you not only figured out how to store physical creatures into fragmented data and upload them as cloud storage, accidentally discovered how to swap consciousness with a Pokemon, thus allowing us to better understand how their attacks work, but you've also figured out time travel? Only to trade Pokemon, sure, but if I could send a Neanderthal on iPhone, I'd still be pretty f***ing excited. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. Oh. Well, okay, but if we could get whatever was in the Library of Alexandria, we'd still be pretty stoked. Also, are you implying that the Johto Pokemon didn't exist in the past? Because they must have. They didn't just suddenly come into existence out of nowhere over the last three years. Also, did you say trades? Meaning that it's not just us sending something back, but them sending something forward? How do they do that? Wouldn't this technology have to exist in their time too? Or is this a we can go back in time, we just can't let anybody know we're time travelers kind of thing? This story isn't even about time travel and it's still messy. Oh, it's you. I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that they say Rose is here. But there's nothing here. Nothing after all the trouble of coming to this dump. No way. It's all your fault. Wait, what? How the fuck is the tower being burnt possibly my fault? I just got here. Also, you can't have a level 20 Haunter, you dick! 
Ghastly doesn't evolve into level 25. How do you keep doing this? Suddenly Solid Snake. Okay, Morty's Gengar is stupid. It will likely outspeed your Pokemon, put it to sleep with Hypnosis, and knock you out with Dream Eater, which not only deals a load of damage, but also replenishes its own health. Hmm? This is no place for playing. I didn't come to play, old man. I came to see the gym leader to help her sick Pokemon. This is also no place for fighting. It's a goddamn lighthouse. Man, they really expected you to talk to every NPC back then, didn't they? I was stuck for a fair bit, not remembering what to do until I talked to this random dude in this building who just gives you HMO4. No side quest, no favor, he just gives it to you. Whenever I get in trouble, Daddy always scares me. Uh, should we call Child Protective Services? I think this child might be in danger. So as it turns out, HMO4 wasn't even what I needed to progress. I needed HMO3, which you get from defeating the Kimono Girls in Ecruteague City, but... I could have sworn the Kimono Girls were optional. You need Surf to complete the game, and as far as I'm aware, no one tells you where to find this. In fact, the same was true in Kanto. You needed Surf and Strength, but the areas you get their HMs are totally optional, with not even a hint that they might be there. So, you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. <laughs> 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 There! Scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true! You crossed the sea to get here. That must have been hard. It'd be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. Let's see in Wood's gym badge. Here, take this HM. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You will be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. My husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, since he was getting a little chubby. Wow, first of all, rude. But second, how was I supposed to know to speak to you again after beating Chuck to get HMO2? Another person on CN Wood mentions Fly, but I don't get it from him. And another dude mentions Rock Smash, but guess what? I don't get HMO6 from him either. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the Steel type. You know about the Steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. So that's a neat little piece of lore, but how do you explain it away when Pokemon that didn't have the Steel type before now do, alongside with their strengths and weaknesses? Take Magnemite, for example. Magnemite was in Gen 1, I fought plenty of them. Back then, they were pure electric types, meaning that fire and fighting did neutral damage. But now, since they're half Steel types, suddenly they're weak to fire and fighting? Like, I get that you just discovered that Steel was a type, but an entire species of Pokemon wouldn't just suddenly change its typing. Uh, without evolving first, of course. Dragonite! Hyper Beam! Whoa, did Lance just use his Dragonite to attack that guy? I know they're doing awful things, but I thought we couldn't use our Pokemon to attack people. Alright, stop. I'll tell you. The password to the boss's room is Slowpoke Tail, but it's useless unless you have two passwords. I mean, I know I beat you at a Pokemon battle, but what was I gonna do if you didn't tell me? Stick my Pokemon on you? Who do I look like, Lance? What the hell is the point of Silver showing up here? He shows up, tells you about how he's going to destroy Team Rocket, doesn't, tells you about how he lost to Lance, got pissed off by what Lance said to him, and then leaves. I... I couldn't do a thing. What do you mean? You could have not used self-destruct with your last Pokemon. Chris. The journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I see. No, you're right. If you would give up that easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. Uh, dude, I met you probably less than an hour ago. How do you know anything about me? That's no old man. That's an old man's head pasted onto Pugsley Adams' body. Can't use that here. I'm on the roof. How could I not use fly? You, you came to rescue me? Is that what you were expecting? Wrong! I'm an imposter! Faint attack? Well, any move could make me faint. What's so special about this one? Do you mean faint attack with an E? Dragonair's cute, but I don't have it. Do you have a female Dragonair? Wanna trade it for my Dodrio? Why the fuck would I ever want to trade a hard-to-find dragon for a dime a dozen three-headed bird? And I'm sorry, did you say you wanted a female Dragonair? 
So not only are you trying to fuck me over, but you're also being picky about it. You live in the city where you can find the Dragonair. You'd have an easier time finding one than finding someone who would take that crappy trade. Something incredibly odd happened here that I'd never seen before. During the fight with Claire, I was basically down to my last two Pokemon, a level 39 Eevee and a level 27 Noctowl against her level 40 Kingdra. I was trying to level my Eevee up in order to get Umbreon, so I was desperately trying to keep it from fainting, and I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna wing it. I have Hypnosis, I have Nightmare, I can at the very least try and knock some health off of it before it takes down Skiat and I'm forced to use my Eevee. So I do that and knock down a lot more health than I thought I would, causing Claire to use a Hyper Potion to restore Kingdra's HP, followed by her using a full heal to awaken it from its sleep. But Nightmare kept having effect, draining Kingdra's HP, and I thought it was weird. I figured it wasn't supposed to happen. If the Pokemon wakes up, it shouldn't be having a Nightmare anymore. But I don't know, I'd never really used the move before. Maybe this was actually its effect and I just didn't know it. That was until I tried the same strategy again for the Elite Four, and the same thing didn't happen. And as it turns out, in this generation, due to an oversight, Nightmare doesn't go away when the opponent uses a full restore or a full heal, so Nightmare just keeps going. That would work if the player did it, though. Rare occurrence of these games working in the player's favor. I lost? I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon User Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. There is a small shrine at its center. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, I will recognize you as a trainer worthy of a gym badge. Dude, f*** you! This is Whitney all over again! My level 27 owl gave your level 40 sea dragon nightmares and passed out because of it! Get over it! Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. What is your deal?! You're the last gym leader before I face the Pokemon League! Of course they're gonna be tougher than you! I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival! Calm down, Larry. You have a total of one Pokemon and it's a Slowpoke, which aren't hard to find in this game. You better hope that you set the clock up right when you first boot up your game, because changing the clock afterwards is next to impossible. And yeah, I understand that that's kind of the point. They wanted the player to be immersed so that the time of day in-game reflected the real time of day, but what if you moved overseas and the time of day is wrong? Well, then you'd need a secret passcode. And how do you get the passcode? Fucking beats me! All I know is that it's derived from your trainer name, trainer ID, and current amount of money. And to my knowledge, even with that information, you still need an internet connection and this one dude's program because I still don't understand how anyone's supposed to figure out the passcode on their own. Koga? The poison type gym leader from Kanto, Koga? Who let you in the Elite Four? Like, I guess you're better than Bruno, but so are most other trainers. Wait, and Bruno's still here? Of all the Elite Four members, you stuck with the worst one? No, no, you don't understand. Not only was his only change team-wise a Hitmontop for one of his Onyx, my level 34 Noctowl beat that level 42 Hitmontop, his also level 42 Hitmonchan, and his level 46 Machamp. Three out of his five Pokemon went down to the weakest member of my team. I'm not gonna lie, this fight baffles me. Tough fight, definitely a tough fight. I honestly should not have won at the level my team was at, but... You know how I complain that Bruno's team barely changed? Well, the same is true for Lance. His two Dragonair are now both Dragonite, both the same level, but ooh, one knows Blizzard and the other knows Thunder. Other than that, though, they both have the same moves. And in case you're wondering, yes, that does mean that he now has three Dragonite. But being a champion, they had to add an extra Pokemon to his team, so what dragon did they go with? Charizard whom, much like Gyarados and Aerodactyl, is not a dragon type. And look, I know Claire already had a Kingdra, but trainers are allowed to have the same Pokemon. His Charizard doesn't even know any dragon type moves. Neither does his Aerodactyl. And neither does his Gyarados. One of the only Pokemon on his team that previously did have a dragon type move. And wait, your twin Dragonite only know Twister? And your ace Dragonite only knows Outrage? You have two other Dragon-type moves in this generation! What, did you forget about Dragon Rage? Sure, it's probably the worst Dragon-type move in this game, but you still have it! At the very least, you could have had one of your non-Dragon-type Pokémon no Dragon Breath. All three of them can learn it only in this generation, and it's a better move than Twister is! I just... I just don't get it! Hey, kid. Could I get you to look for my buddy? 
He's goofing off somewhere, that lazy bum. I want to go find him, but I'm on duty right now. Cool. Um, I am a passenger, so I don't think I'm obligated to do any favors for you just so you can let me pass. Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. That has to be the single greatest lie this game has told so far. Psychic power is the power of your soul. And yet the badge I get from this gym isn't the soul badge. And despite poisonous gases being more common in marshes, Fuchsia City's poison type gym isn't where I get the marsh badge. I just got word from Cerulean. It appears that a shady character has been loitering around. Could I ask for your cooperation? My cooperation? I'm a child! What the hell am I supposed to do about it? What do you want me to do about it? You're the one with authority. Oops, I'm so sorry. You're not hurt, okay? I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by somebody. Oh no, you seen me already. I make big mistake. Hey, you, forget you see me, okay? You see, here, no nothing, okay? Bye, kid, nothing. Bye, bye, a go, go. Like, that has to be racist, right? I don't know against who, but someone's being made fun of here. Aww, why did you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pests, you heard me right, pests. Dude, I just showed up. You're the one that's on private property that isn't even yours. Aren't the twins just adorable? Jasmine's pretty too. Ooh, I love them. Three years later and you still haven't fired this guy? I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? Good, then listen up. So, my favorite Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh, yes. Stunning. Kindly. Love it. Hug it when sleeping. Warm and cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing. Okay, someone should really look into this guy's Rapidash. Even the most disturbed psychopath wouldn't be able to recite the exact same description word for word about their favorite Pokemon three years apart. You know what? The most messed up thing about this game is that they got rid of the Pokemon Tower and put a f***ing radio station in its place. You know, a place where a bunch of people had their Pokemon's graves. And like, that wasn't even Team Rocket's doing. That was just people in charge. Holy shit! Okay, so I recorded Gen 1 and Gen 2 like over a year ago, and I remember when this happened to me. I was just biking, ran into the old man, and instinctively hit the A button. I didn't even really mean to, so I just went through his dialogue like you would any other NPC, and the dude just gives you the Silver Wing. And I just remember thinking to myself, like, A, I didn't even know the Silver Wing was a thing in this game. I just thought you had to go to the World Islands to find Lugia. And B, how in the mother of fuck are you supposed to know that this is how you get it? Because in Silver version, you get the wing from the director at the Goldenrod Radio Tower after defeating Team rocket so that's directly tied to the story you can't miss it and maybe it's because this was during a time where they expected you to just talk to every npc and as a kid maybe i would have but i ignored 80 percent of them as an adult uh i know a lot can change in a couple of years but this is not even close to what the viridian city gym used to look like where are the spinning tiles that would spin me right round baby right round like a record baby who are you well it's plain to see that you're a trainer my name's Blue. I was once the champion, although it was only for a short time. That meddling red did me in. Anyway, what do you want? You want to challenge me or something? I hate to say it, but I'm not in the mood for a battle now. Take a good look around you. The volcano erupts and just like that, the whole town disappears. Uh, what the hell? Wait, there was a volcano on Cinnabar Island? Where? From what I remember, it was the gym, the mansion, the lab, the Pokemart, and the Pokemon Center. Where was there a volcano? Dude, f*** this fight, man. Like, I'm not even mad. This fight is just comically difficult. Assuming that you fight the Kanto gym leaders in order, the last strong trainer you fought is Blue, and his highest level Pokemon is level 58. Aside from my Umbreon, none of my Pokemon have even broken level 50, and Red's team consists of Pokemon who are all in their 70s, except for his Pikachu, who's level 81. Did you seriously expect me to grind at Mount Silver for another 30 hours until my entire team caught up to his? Give me a break! Speaking of Silver, I was a bit confused because the way we defeated him at Victory Road just seemed a little anticlimactic, and I didn't realize that that's not actually the last time you fight him, but there's literally no reason to ever go to Mount Moon because pretty much all of Kanto is accessible once you get there. 
Why would I ever visit notoriously annoying caves like Mount Moon or Rock Tunnel when there are way shorter and more convenient ways to get to all the towns? Hey everyone, Char I5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSense pastiche of everything wrong with Pokemon Generation 2. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head on over to CinemaSense, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with Gen 1? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char i 5 signing off.